David Andre is a goalkeeper and second year business student at St. Louis University. He has high expectations. He's focused on winning the US College Soccer National Championship. David left his home in France to play football and get a top level degree. I've been playing with like, I don't know, maybe 60, 70, 80 players. Maybe I'd say three or four do both in the same time in France. It's almost impossible, almost impossible to play at a very high level and study like in a good university. It's almost impossible. These freshmen are playing at a high level, ranked in the top 20 and even top 10 schools in the States. Their coach says they're also excellent in the classroom. He actively seeks out scholar athletes. If you are somebody that enjoys doing well in school, that likes to learn, that likes to uh, uh, get to class and find out some new things, you're probably the same kind of player that comes to training every day that wants to overachieve and that wants to learn. And so we don't see it as being one or the other. We find that the most competitive people want to be great at everything they do. It's hard work, both on and off the football pitch. Andre kicks off the day with an English lesson. SLU is ranked 101st out of nearly 1,400 American universities. Students' sports results raise the reputation of schools. Successful athletic programs impact enrollment, believe it or not. Uh, in fact, our, uh, impact our ability to raise funds and recruit benefactors. Um, even the branding of an institution is impacted by the success of its athletic program. College athletes don't get paid, but schools do give out scholarships to recruit them. Senior Adnan Gabaljik has earned near-perfect grades in his major, civil engineering. I know without soccer I would not be graduating from St. Louis University. Uh, I'd probably be going somewhere cheaper, a uh, state school that's not as prestigious. For these students, it all comes down to getting their best shot at winning, both on the field and in their careers.